we're going to do a proper review of the CVO Road Glide. This is a new one. How long you had it for? Uh, since September. And what's that? Uh, four months, three months. How long has it been in the shop having problems? Uh, it's been in for five weeks. Yeah. Five weeks with problems. Five weeks at the moment. Went back for a week early on. Uh, and the last five weeks it's been in there. I've been waiting for parts. The problem with Harley Davidson and being a Harley motor vlogger, which I am, and I hope corporate are listening to this, the thing is, if you're going to do a review on a motorbike, there's so many motor vloggers that all they say is everything's 100% positive. Everything's perfect, right? Don't they? Yep. All the time. But if you want to get a balanced, if you want credibility, nothing is perfect. Any new model of any car, any motorbike, it's never perfect, is it? No. They've got to fix it. No. This bike has issues, does it? Does yeah, it not? It does. Okay, yeah. we're going to talk about the issues because there's been so much praise about this motorbike. I have given this praise, I have given massive praise to this motorbike. This is a good motorbike, isn't it? It's a great motorbike. Mechanically, it's fantastic. Is this yeah. the best CVO you've owned? It's the best bike I've owned. Okay, yeah, it's the best stuff. bike. So there we go. So Brian loves it, even though it's been in the shop a lot with issues. We're going to talk about those issues. So we're going to tell you what we think is wrong with the CVO. We don't know if it's just your CVO, mm -hmm. but Brian's going to tell us. How, how many Ks have you done? Five and a half. Done yep. five and a half thousand Ks. Um, he's just ridden down from Sydney, which is a thousand Ks. We're going to go around the bike. He's going to tell us the problems he's had and what he doesn't like about the bike now that he's an actual owner. So he's not a YouTuber that's been given a bike for three hours to say how great it is. He's an actual CVO owner and um, I personally love the look of the bike. Yeah. To be fair, there's more right with it than there is wrong. There's yeah. not a lot wrong, but there's some stuff they should have got right before it went out. Yeah, it's yeah. pissing you off. Yeah, it's annoying. All right, okay, yeah. let's talk about the bike. Let's talk about the bike itself. What don't you like? The seat is the worst thing on the bike. The seat's Without a doubt. The seat is like a friggin' wooden plank. So the seat's yeah. bad. Yeah. Wooden plank? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's the worst thing on the bike. <laughs> so he's saying the seat's the worst thing, they got that wrong. Okay, what else? Um look the elect the the, the electronics. But this is the main issue, the electronics, the, the, right? Yeah, it's a it's Take a major pressure. major problem. So to come down here, what did you have to do? You had to Well I had to put a quad lock on. I've got this so you had to put a quad lock yeah, on? Yeah, I've got a massive screen here, but yet I had to mount my phone. Had to mount my phone to the handlebars, yeah. so I had maps. Yeah, okay. You know? and, and it was in the shop for five weeks, and they still couldn't get it right. Yeah, they, they did a lot of um, testing on the bike to, to, to try and get everything to work and software updates and all that sort of thing. But it's got a connection issue. It won't connect to my phone. Uh, won't connect to the headset, you know, they they had it in there doing R&D basically. They should have just replaced the component and moved on. Okay. Anyway, that's my gripe on it. So, so, so the main things has been electronics, you can't use the maps at the moment? Yeah, you can um, use the Harley map, but you can't use Waze, you can't use Google Maps or anything like that. So, okay, right. yeah, it's a problem. All right. The, well, I don't hate the panniers. But, um, What's the problem? Well, oh, look at look that. This. Okay, so, okay, so, it's pretty flimsy. Yeah, it's. I understand why they've done it. Um, why have they done it? Well, they've taken weight out of the bike, so yeah, yeah. Uh, and they've taken it everywhere they can. And the speakers are obviously they're a little bit heavier, they're a little bit bigger. But you can see how thin that is, like compared to like okay. your, your Road King. Yeah. So so they've gone thinner plastic. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, I like the shape of them. Um, yeah. That's fine, but. Um, you can tell the bike's got a lot of thin plastic on it, which is obviously done to take the weight out of it. What else? There's not a lot I don't like on the bike. Like I said, it's just the seat, electronics, and um, yeah, I think the panniers aren't sturdy enough. Yeah. Um, the screen that comes with the bike is about that big. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've, you've had to completely put a big, useless. Yeah. Put your screen on. Yeah, and that's not. It's good, but. But but comfortability of ride. Yeah, um, my old CVA was a lot more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, it had, uh, I had a yeah, yeah. Saddleman Road Sofa on it. I had a clockwork screen on it. It was set up for me. And what suspension know. did you have on it? I had the Wilbers, which yeah. is just outstanding. Like, I know. That's the best stuff. But we, 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 we get nothing for plugging Wilbers, <laughs> but just if you've not... Stefan, I would like something though. Stefan, <laughs> if... If you've not ridden, if you've not had a bike set up for yourself through Wilbur's, I I believe it is the best suspension. I've ridden them all now, including Olin's. I think Wilbur's is mm. is the best because because yeah. it's set up for your weight. Um, but anyway. This is pretty good. Yeah. Like they're, yeah. they're, they're, 
the stock suspension on this is quite i'd be a little bit hesitant to change it because it it does it handles unreal yeah. like it handles fantastically so i just don't know like the wilbur's is a great comfortable suspension i don't know if it would affect the performance of the handling but um, you, you've got aftermarket pipes mm -hmm. and what, what what are these called are they chrome works chrome works and do they just slip on they just slip on they're just slip ons yeah can you unstart it up yeah okay i'm just going to start it up so this is stage one no cam yeah you gotta wait for everything to boot up. So how long do you wait? Well, if well, you... well let's do it. Do it from the start. Do it from the start. Watch this. Okay. So, so he's gonna try and start his bike, right? Maybe. So, so hang on, I've got to put it in neutral. So you can. So he turned it on. One and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and 11 and like i can start it up now okay but is it better 10 seconds yeah but if i if i start it up without letting it boot up see how that's still You're flashing yeah what, you can get is... all sorts of problems oh so you've got to wait for this yeah you don't have to they don't tell you you have to but all the forums and everything everything you read online You've got more chance of your electronics working <laughs> if you let it boot up properly. Is the electronics that bad on it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, you don't, you don't, see, I tested the bike and of course, it's like anything until you ride it for thousands of Ks mm. and, you know, starting, starting, stopping, starting. So like I'll give you an example. At the moment, my, I'll just show you this, come over here. My low rotor ST has a warning, an engine warning light on. I don't know why. <laughs> right, hang on. I'll see if it's gone off. Engine warning light. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, the good thing is mine's probably booted up now. <laughs> that, 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 that sounds pretty good. So just in winding up, let's be clear. Love the bike. I think Harley nailed the shape. Electronics, this with Brian's bike. <laughs> He's not happy. Hey, you're not happy with no, it. No, I'm not happy with the electronics. Not happy. I love the bike, but hates the seat. Seats mm. way too hard. This is a touring bike. Like I don't know how much thought went into that. Yeah. Well, they they made it into a tour, uh, like a what do you call them? A, a sports bag or a, what's the? Um... But it's a tourer. I know. I know. But they've put the short bags on it. Um, yeah. The, the okay. Seats all wrong. The stereo. We were told before it's pre-release that the mm. stereo was going to be a lot louder. Mm. Is it? I don't think so. No. No. Okay. No. I don't. I don't know if that has something to do with the aerodynamics of the screen, but on my last bike with the clockwork screen, I could hear it a lot better. Overall, the bike's good. We're not knocking the bike. We're just saying that Brian's having problems still. You had to pick it up from the dealer, didn't you? That, to come here. To come here. Yeah. With it still not fixed. Yeah. They're, and they're and how long have they? Part. And we're not, we're, not, we're not bagging out. That's not the dealer's fault. They're obviously waiting. But how long have they been in the shop waiting? Five weeks. Five weeks. Yeah. And I know people are going to say, oh, there's a the, there's the supply problem all around the world with, yeah, I guess we all get sick of, do you know what? They they take your money though, don't they? Yeah, well, I, I think anyone that bought this model mm -hmm. is probably doing Harley's R&D for them right now. Yeah. You know, like, um, yeah, I, I think Harley probably let it out a year too early, but in saying that, the bike's fantastic. I, I love it. Yeah. I, I do love it. Love the bike. Just the... Uh, There's a couple of things. Okay. Have a look at this, <laughs> mate. I'll show you a real Harley. Would you believe this thing has never thrown a warning light? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't believe it. Hey? No, it hasn't. Mate, mate, I didn't even get a shovel with mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, mine. My, the, all the Road Kings come with shovels now. 